I'm Michelle Hickson, and I'm graduating from the Culinary Arts Department. I just would like to thank my family and my friends, my children, my siblings, and everyone who supported me during this time. I really appreciate you all. Thank you. Hey, my name is Brad Edge, Augusta Tate Welding Program graduate. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to my family and friends who have supported me through this entire journey. I also want to give a very sincere thank you to my two wonderful children and to my beautiful wife for supporting me in this journey. They continuously supported me and acted as my backbone through this entire process. The three of them sacrificed so much of our time together so that I could succeed. And for that, I will be forever grateful. Thank you to each and every one of y'all, and I love y'all. My name is Arlisha Walker. I am graduating with a diploma in business technology. I would like to thank my advisor, Mrs. Tiffany Thomas Rowe, because she's been there along my journey. I would like to thank my family and my friends and my kids for giving me a purpose. And I would lastly like to thank my husband for being up with me on late nights when I had homework to do. I just wanted to let you know that I'm proud of you and I just wanted to congratulate you on your accomplishments. I really don't know what you major in, you know, it's a long name, but I'm, I'm very proud of you, me and Kari. My name is Steven Cantoran. I'm in the Electrical Systems Construction and Maintenance Technology Program. I just want to give a quick shout out to my wife, Amber and my daughter, Aria, for their continued support to be able to allow me to get to a place where I want to be in life. Hi, my name is Pamela Smith. I'm in the LPM program. My shout out goes out to my parents, my mom and dad. I just wanna say thank you and I love y'all for helping me get to this far in my journey. Hi everybody, my name is Chris Osby from the criminal justice system, graduate of 2023. I see you guys are in them comfortable James Brown seats. So, I want to send a shout out to my parents. Thank you to my mother, Sarisa, for helping me out and being my support. Thank you to my children who also helped me out and being my support and showing me that daddy doesn't matter how old you are, you still can do it. Uh, shout out to my beautiful wife who's been helping me out a lot of times, especially when I wanted to quit algebra because my grandparents weren't lying. They were not telling the truth when they said, oh, that's that new math. Yeah, why are we multiplying estimates? Anyway, we made it through a harder time than we all thought it was going to be. But you know what? We're here right now. It's our time, and this is just be the beginning of our future. So thank you for coming out and showing your support for the class of 2023. Be prepared for future graduates because this is not the end of us. We're all going to continue on to future endeavors. This is just the beginning. Moesha McGee. I was attending the cyber security program. Um, I want to say shout out to all the single mothers because we really the goat for the sacrifices we have to go through. Uh, I would like to say shout out to both of my sisters, Kiva and Mariah, for helping me push through. I want to say shout out to my dad 
Matthew for helping me push through as well to keep going for my kids. And um, I want to say thanks to all my close friends who believed in me, who have helped me get through. And I um, have a special shout out to a special friend that um, helped me fix my schedule to keep going and to make sure I complete my goals. And I want to say thank you to everybody who um, helped me with this journey in the cybersecurity program, all the advisors and the instructors. It was a great journey and a great experience. And last but not least, I want to say um, shout out to both of my kids, Maddie and Jazar, for they both my motivation for helping me complete the program and to help me keep going in life for them. Hi, my name is James Ethan Burrow. And I am a graduate from Augusta Medical College, and I would just like to thank God, my friends, and family, and all the instructors from the Georgia Cyber Center, as well as my coworkers from Security and the Solutions, as for my graduation shout out. Thank you. Hello, I'm Betty Kendrick, graduating from the uh, Design and Media Production Technology Program in Photography. I just want to give a hearty. Uh, thank you to my husband, Kirby, uh, who supported me this whole journey. I just want you to know, Kirby, that I love and appreciate you. And I thank you for uh, going with me on this journey. Hello, my name is Michael Corbett, and I am a dual enrollment student at Augusta Technical College, and I am graduating with the Early College Essential Certification. And I would like to thank Ms. Jan Blackburn for helping me and many other students like me in their transition from high school to college. Hello, my name is Kamaka Davis and I'm graduating with a criminal justice degree. And I wanna thank my village, my father, Marco Rivera, my mother, Sandra, KK, Stanley, Jerry, Simone, and my three beautiful children, Cameron, Kamaya, and Lenavier. Hi, my name is Chris Capano and I'm a graduate of the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God. Without him, none of this would be possible. Secondly, to my mother, my sister, and the rest of my family, although we're a thousand miles apart, the amount of love and support you've given me knows no boundaries, uh, and I appreciate it 150%. To Sarah, I know that the many sacrifices and the times that we couldn't really be speaking over Messenger and the sort was rather difficult because I'd be so focused in school but, I, you know, I appreciate you for all that you've done for me. Um, you know, we only move up from here. And to those who aren't here with us, Dad, I know you're down and you're really proud. Grandma, you've been there with me since the days that I was going into the Air Force. And, you know, it's a shame that you can't see me, but I know you can. And to my friends, I'd like to thank you for everything that you've done for me cheering me on throughout all the hard hardships and difficulties that I've had to go through. Um, without all y'all, this wouldn't be possible. Thanks. Hi, I'm Kathy Wright and I'm graduating from the Horticulture Science Department. And I wanna shout out to my husband, Curtis Wright, who has been so helpful for me throughout my education. And also to my instructor, Ms. Leah Bryant, you are the best. Thank you so much. Guess what? Guess what? I'm about to graduate. Y'all about to see me graduate. I'm about to walk across the stage. I'm graduating with my medical coding, mom, family, grandma, dad, uncle, everybody. Um, yeah, so I want to give a big shout out to my two biggest supporters throughout my college career. My boyfriend, Dominique Levante Tompkins, I'm using full names, and Romanita Jakuta Stokes, my lovely, lovely mother, who supported me through many, 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 many major changes. But hey, I'm graduating today. so. Thank you, everybody, mom, granddad, dad, dad. <laughs> um, just thank y'all, and yeah.
Good morning, everyone. Let's try that one more time. Good morning. We are so delighted to have you here. Thank you. Let's first of all, let's give a round of applause for our graduates. I'm Dr. Jermaine Wuerl, president of Augusta Technical College, and I want to welcome you to our 2023 commencement ceremony. If able, I'll ask you to please stand for the presentation of Colors by Butler High School, our national anthem sung by Ms. Jennifer Sturgis, our invocation by our guest, Minister Angel Mestre, and I'll ask gentlemen, please remove your hats. Thank you. Thank you for this wonderful morning. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to celebrate life. Thank you, Lord, for the brand new day, a brand new season. Thank you for this moment that we can gather together, together with Dr. Wirral and all the faculty, the staff of Augusta Tech. Thank you. Thank you for the families that are there supporting every individual that is conquering today this graduation. Thank you for the support of the city of Augusta that is always there, a place that we can develop our dreams and find people like this faculty, like this school, like this college, leaders that are inspiring us to become better citizens in our city. Thank you for the graduation. Thank you for all of them that you 
will bless them to keep on moving in their dreams, careers, and all the ways of life that they are starting today as a professional. We ask you all the blessings today in this beautiful ceremony. Under the name of Jesus, we ask you your blessings, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, and you may be seated. It is my pleasure to begin these exercises by introducing members of the platform party. I do ask that you hold your applause until each individual is recognized. On the left side of me, I'll ask our registrar, Melissa Birch, to please stand. We also have our Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Nicole Spencer, Provost, Dr. Melissa Frank Austin, our guest minister, Pastor Angel Mestre, our keynote speaker today, Dr. Bell Whelan, and the chair of our board of directors, Ms. Pat Goodwin. On the right side, I'll ask to recognize our deans at this time. I'll ask Dean John Richardson, Dean of Academic Affairs, to please stand. We also have Dr. Kelly McElroy Hooper, Dean of the School of Public Professional S Services. We have the Dean of our School of Health Sciences, Dr. Christy Searcy. We have Dean Tammy O'Brien for the School of Cyber and Design Media. We also have Dean Quinton Cooks, Dean of our School of Aviation Engineering and Industrial Technology. And lastly, we have our Dean for the School of Business and the Interim Dean of Arts and Sciences at Augusta Tech. Please help me applause the individuals. You may be seated. On the front row, we have very important individuals that really make this college successful. They really help in scope and provide direction to our institution, and that is our board of directors. I'll ask our board of directors to please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you. you may be seated. This program would not be successful without the graduation committee members of our Skills USA team, our Student Government Association, faculty and staff, and the many of individuals who are serving behind the scenes throughout this ceremony. I ask those of you who are serving on the commencement committee to please stand and be recognized. Thank you. I also want to recognize a special group of individuals who continue to impress me with their commitment to our students and our college mission. Through their hard work, we certainly, our graduates, have a meaningful and productive life after graduation. Graduates, I'll ask you to help me recognize your faculty. Faculty, if you would please stand up and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. And lastly, we have multiple guests and dignitaries here today. We have representation from Senator Ossoff, Senator Warnock's office. We have one of our state representatives, Lynn Gladney, as well as our mayor of the city of Augusta, Garnett Johnson and Chief of Staff Jasmine Sims. I will ask them to please stand and be recognized. And I also want to shout out the first lady of this institution, my wife, Mrs. Whirl, if she will please stand and be recognized. Thank you all. Now we'd like to bring up Ms. Pat Goodwin, again, the chair of our board of directors, and she will come and introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you, Dr. Whirl. Good morning, everyone. I want to deviate for just a second. As I'm standing here looking out there at the graduates, golly, y'all are beautiful, so handsome. I'm so impressed. So, mm -hmm. 
I'm delighted today to introduce our keynote speaker. Dr. Bell Whelan currently serves as president of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges and is the first African American and the first woman to serve in this capacity. Her career spans over 40 years and includes the roles of faculty member, chief student services officer, campus provost, college president, and state of Virginia secretary of education. In several of those roles, she was the first African American and or woman to serve in those capacities. We encourage you to read her bio, which is in your program, and I'm sure you will be just as impressed as we are. So please welcome the Augusta Technical College 2023 commencement keynote speaker, Dr. Bell Whelan. Thank you, Madam Chair. To you, members of the board, Mr. President, generous uh, members of the faculty, honored guests, parents, families, friends, all y'all. But most importantly, the graduates of the class of 2023. What's up? <laughs> you are joining about 2% of the world's population as you graduate and walk across this stage today. I hope that lets you know how significant this event is for you today. Most of you uh, have no idea what the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges is, and that's okay. But we're the organization that accredits uh, Augusta Tech. We uh, give it that good housekeeping stamp of approval that what they're doing is good stuff. And so you graduates are the proof of that. So as head of a quality assurance agency, I'm here to give you your final, final exam. So if you would clear your laps, of anything that you're holding and sit up toward the front of your seats. I'm going to count to three, and on the count of three, I want you to stand up and as loudly as you can shout the word hallelujah. Okay, if you, if you don't pass this, then don't bother to walk across the stage, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> now, five minutes from now, five years from now, 50 years from now, you won't remember my name or probably what I said, but you will remember I had you sitting on the edge of your seat shouting hallelujah. <laughs> to ensure I didn't speak too long or inappropriately, I sent my remarks to the president and asked him to read them and edit them, and I'm prepared to read what he returned. And in conclusion, I would like to say, no. <laughs> Seriously, I just want you to know that I know that I am not the reason we are here today. We are here to honor those graduates. And so I just, uh, as you've heard, have spent over 40, actually this is my 49th year in higher education. I'm very proud of each and every, thank you, each and every one of those years. Uh, it was 1972 when I sat where you're sitting getting my undergraduate degree, and I need you to know time passes very quickly. So be sure you take advantage of each day that the good Lord gives you. Uh, although in high school, you probably depended upon your friends to set trends and make decisions about where you're going to go and what you're going to wear and where you're going to eat. In college, you might have even joined some social clubs or service organizations that also dictated the things that you would do. However, now you're going to be leaving the security of those groups and you're going to have to make your own decisions. But I need you to know you don't have to do it alone. You're surrounded by a group of supporters in your families and friends, but also among the faculty and staff here at Augusta Tech who will always be here for you. So please, when times get tough, and trust me, they will, please know that you have that support group. I've been blessed with a long and, and rewarding career, and so they thought I might have had a few lessons that I had learned along the way that I might share with you today. So I've come up with, uh, probably the David Letterman top 10, but I'm going from one to 10 rather than 10 to one. And for those of you too young to remember who David Letterman was, Google him. <laughs> Number one, take care of yourself. 
physically, spiritually, and mentally. The body you have today is the only one you're going to get. So don't abuse it. I know some of you might think it may be too late, but it's never too late to walk instead of drive, to eat more healthily, and to try to minimize the amount of stress that you have in your life by planning better. <clears throat> Number two, continue to ask questions. Learning is indeed a lifelong phenomenon. The degree that will be conferred upon you today is just the beginning, and it doesn't certify that you have all the answers. So if you don't have all the answers, you certainly don't have all the questions. More than anything, remember that there is no such thing as a dumb question. Okay? I taught child psychology for 10 years, and one year I remember we were talking about the differences between breastfeeding and bottle feeding babies, and how with breastfeeding you get to bond with the baby and their nutrients that pass. And I had one young woman ask me if black women had chocolate milk in their breasts. I had a reaction much like this. Some people fell out of their seats laughing. Faculty live for moments like this, by the way. I need you to know that. I had some who sat there in shock that she had asked, actually asked that question. But I had a group of students that you could see was trying to figure out whether it was possible that there was indeed chocolate milk. I assured them that to the best of my knowledge, there was no flavoring packets in black women's breasts at all colostrum was the same. The third lesson is lighten up and learn to laugh. It's okay to laugh at yourself. You should get up every morning and look at the mirror and go, oh, you are so cute today. <laughs> it really is. First of all, it's impossible to grow an ulcer and laugh at the same time. When I learned that, I chose to give ulcers rather than get them. So I go around laughing a great deal. Life is too short to take so seriously that you lose your sense of humor. We as a, as a human race are the funniest creations on the face of the earth. You can look at people and go, boy, God was laughing that day, wasn't he? <laughs> it's okay to laugh. Just be careful where you laugh. Don't be in a, a staff meeting and burst out laughing at an inappropriate time. But by all means, lighten up and learn to laugh. We'd have less violence if people laughed rather than getting angry and upset at everything. Number four, learn to pay yourself first. From the first paycheck you make after graduation, you should always put something aside for you for a rainy day. And no, running out of pizza is not a rainy day. Rainy days come uh, in gulches, they come in, sh in um, little sprinkles, but they're always going to be there and you always want to have something on which to fall back. If you take it out ahead of time, you won't ever miss it out of your paycheck. Number five, give something back. I learned early on as I graduated from college that I had much more time to give than I had money. And over the years, I have learned to understand that time really is much more valuable than money. Every now and then, when you're going to the grocery store and you see Girl Scouts selling cookies or Cub Scouts selling popcorn, uh, stop and contribute to their understanding of the economy. It makes them feel good. It makes you feel good. Even if you don't eat the cookies or the popcorn, you can always donate it to somebody else. Give something back. More importantly, consider giving something back to the Augusta Tech Foundation. Many of you were able to attend college because of scholarships uh, that were awarded to you. Those scholarships came because somebody gave back. Be sure that you give back. And, and $10 is, is a good thing because that'll help toward the purchase of a book, even if it won't pay an hour tuition. It, it will bring an somebody else's day into a positive light just by knowing that somebody cared enough to give. Number six, there's a, a two-volume book that came out before the Chicken Soup for the Soul books came out. It's called Life's Little Instruction Book, and it was a two-volume set that was uh, written by a father whose son was going off to college, and he and his wife wanted his, uh, their son to remember some of those little lessons. The one that I remember and I try to practice all the time is the one that said, be as kind to the janitor as you are the chairman of the board. Because everybody in an organization has a role to play. 
everybody, and no one's is any more important than anybody else's. Well, I take that back. I think that the uh, clerical support and the uh, custodians are the most important people in an organization because they have all the keys and all the files. <laughs> but beyond that, everybody has a role to play, and you should not snub anyone just because of the statue of the job that they hold. Number seven, remember to be civil. And by that I mean, would you remember to say please and thank you and excuse me as you walk by people? Or more importantly, put your blinker on before you change lanes? <laughs> you paid for it, use it. We would have so much uh, less friction on roads and so much less road rage if people would just be civil. Let the car in, you know they're trying to get in, and just wave at them and say, good luck, I hope you get where you're going safely. Rather than get all upset or if you live in Atlanta, pull out a gun and shoot them. It is the dumbest thing in the universe. Thank the people who helped you get here. Before you leave commencement today, you should meet with the faculty to thank them. Because sometimes, except for their grace, you wouldn't be sitting here today, I assure you. Number eight, be an active member in your community. Register to vote and then exercise that right to vote. It's impossible to run for office and win if you don't have people who are voting for you. It's also impossible to get things done if you don't have people who care about the community running for those particular offices. I was talking with uh, one of the representatives today. I said, I don't know how you deal with the politics. I thank you for it, however, because it does take a special person to care enough about the community to give up their own time and energy to do on behalf of others. Go to school board meetings, even if you you don't have children in the schools because they are creating that next generation who's going to decide into what rest home you will go. <laughs> Number nine, don't believe your own PR. Don't get so excited when you see your name in the newspaper that you think, oh, ain't I great. No, remain humble. Let other people sing your praises. Give credit to those who have done stuff to, to make you look good because none of us gets anywhere we are without the support of somebody else. Being cocky is not a way to win friends or influence people. And you never know who's watching you. I never thought I would be Secretary of Education, let alone in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the governor had been watching me uh, in two of my previous jobs. I told him, first of all, you need to get a life if I'm all you've got to do is to watch. But you don't know where your next opportunity is coming from. And if you get to be too cocky, then people don't want you to be a part of their organization. So try not to believe your own PR. Celebrate, but not to the point that uh, it creates consternation. Number 10, <clears throat> pardon me, is from my own personal life. In 1964, before many of you were even born, you missed a good time. That's all I got to tell you. I was part of the group that was going to integrate the Catholic high school in San Antonio. And I had no idea what to expect or anything. The 60s were, a, uh, at, at, what, what, what's a good adjective? They were a volatile time, there's a word. But I had an eighth grade teacher who was old as the hill. She's probably my age now. And she told us two things that have always stuck with me and on, on which I have to draw my energy sometimes. The first thing, again, in 1964, she told us was that Black people were obviously the most important people in the world, otherwise white folks wouldn't be making such a big deal over us. In the 1970s, the same thing was said to women. If it weren't for women, you know, they, they, they wouldn't have anybody to make things over. In the 80s, it was people with disabilities. Every decade, we have some group that we feel the need to put down just so we can feel better. But she told us more importantly, that it didn't matter what color our skin was because we were all Americans. And American ended in the letters I-C-A-N, I can. There will be days that you will get up in the morning and say, I can't go to this job another day. Sure you can. You can because there's somebody there who needs the skill sets that you're offering. You're there because the company thinks that you have some skills to offer so that they can make a better impact on the world that they're living. You can do it. It may be tough, 
but you can. And when you get to the point that you feel you can't, that's when you pick up the phone, not text, but pick up the phone and call the people that you know are there who have your back and say, please help me believe that I really am a good person and I'm worth going to this job. No matter how high you rise in an organization, you always need to have a support group on whom you can fall to help you get through those tough days. I congratulate each and every one of you. I don't know personally the struggles you've had, but I've been to enough commencements that I know that everybody out there has had to overcome something. And I am so proud of all of the time and energy and effort that you put into yourself to get where you are today. I feel very good that the future is in great hands because of you, and I wish you nothing but success. Thank you for letting me be a part of your ceremony. Now, we'd like to welcome Dr. Nicole Spencer, Vice President for Student Affairs, to the lectern. We would like to extend our thanks to the members of the Augusta Technical College Skills USA team, Student Government Association, faculty and staff for serving as ushers. We would also like to thank the Butler High School Color Guard for posting the colors. Thank you for all of our active duty military members and veterans for their service. Will all graduates who currently serve and who have served in the arms, United States Armed Forces please stand and be recognized. We thank you for your service. Please be seated. We would like to recognize the hard work and efforts of our dual enrollment high school students. Dual enrollment students, please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. We would like to recognize those students who are graduating with academic honors. Will those students who are graduating as members of Phi Theta Kappa please stand? You may be seated. Will those students who are graduating as members of the National Technical Honor Society please stand? You may be seated. Augusta Technical College Provost, Dr. Melissa Frank Austin, will now present the candidates for graduation. President Worrell, I present to you the candidates for graduation from Augusta Technical College for June 2023. These students have completed all requirements at the State Board of the Technical College System of Georgia and Augusta Technical College's Board of Directors. And they have been certified by our registrar as having met all academic requirements. At this time, I will ask Dr. Rural to assist in the conferring of degrees and awarding of diplomas and certificates. Thank you.
Now announcing graduates from adult education. Kaylin Allison. <laughs> Jemiah Alston. So Mario T. Baker. Brittany N. Beach. William Beasley. Marie Campbell. Justin Isaiah Dates. Ariana M. Florence. Caleb Fulmer. <laughs> Jessica L. Gould. <laughs> Valentina Hobbs. <laughs> Elke Henrietta Kelly. Francis BNZ Lagora. Marcus Bernard Leverett Jr. Pearl R. Marsters. Maya N. Martin. Desiree Deanne McFatridge. Damarian Miller. Marcus Moore. Elena C. Olson. Jasmine Joyce Elsley. Louis Lamoris Elsley. J.C. Ann E. Pledger. Hunter Nelson. Zion Hedgepith. Alexis Shirey.
Anna Smith. Carolyn Denise Thompson. Shaman Walker. Shanice B. Williams. Tamisha Williams. Damian J. Williamson. Kelvin Wright. Now announcing graduates from the School of Arts and Sciences. David H. Evans. Caden M. Frazier. Braden J. Jenkins. Miranda K. Jordan. Leandria R. McGahey. Renata L. Wright. William B. Ashley. Naia M. D. Sanchel. Julie R. Wigfall. Morgan M. Williams. Now announcing graduates from the School of Aviation, Industrial, and Engineering Technology. Lincoln Moore. Zaire Stewart. Christian J. Vargas. Lakeith Jamal Abrams. Brian T. Cooper. Delvin R. Davis. Sylvester Harris, Jr. Elijah Hawley. Timothy Pittman. Vernon R. Primus. Tate R. Skinner. Jonathan D. Smalley. David A. Walker. Lindsay E. Odom. Megan Monica Williams. Jeremy E. Cortez. Tristan Micah Carnes. Philip S. Bowman.
Andrew Chavez. Devin D. Deloach. Kevin Tyrone Dorsey, Jr. Valentina Mancusi. Marcia A. Moore. Marcia A. Moore. Cecil Canyon Spivey. Samuel C. McCarter. William Joseph Tankersley, Jr. Wal T. Juag. Colby W. McCord. Orlando R. Blount. Bailey D. Bush. Timothy K. Cross. Nicholas Robert Silk. Isaac Gerard Weber. Jasmine N. Bell. Jace M. Black. Ahmad Gardner. Jordan K. Ham. Kent L. Powell. Dontavarius Rivers. Jaquez R. Sappho. Micah Bowdry. Jahad T. Bostic. Jaheem Shamar Wolf. Colby A. Barrett. Maya D. Lodge. Delilah N. Slaybaugh. Darva Archit Kumar Bhatt. Michael T. Bird. Christopher John DePano. Nicholas J. Fischel. Nathaniel W. Jackson. Jeffrey Grant Palmer. Alexander E. Simon. Kendall O. Venegas Azofifa.
Stephen Cantoran. Octavius Montrese Jackson. Jaden Samuel Jenkins. Tristan G. Pullman. Ricky A. Ramsey, Jr. Hani Buchiri. Stephen L. Gambrell. Marshall T. Emerson. Renan F. Arroyo. Charles W. Copeland Bay. Russell S. Burton. Chandler B. McKenzie. Connor B. McKenzie. Noah G. Merrill. Dante Jawan Andrews. Daquan D. Anthony. Sean W. Athon. Josiah Key. Ryan C. Creech. Serena Diebel. Tracy Donato. Bradley S. Edge. Denim Free. Spencer J. French. Tylen V. Habersham. Michaela R. Marr. Chloe A. McDowell. Caitlin E. McLean. Walker Merritt, Jr. Wesley R. Merritt. Octavius M. Moment. Christopher L. Nelson, Jr.
Alvin Christine Warner. Dante J. Zellers. Joseph T. Zinnerman. Now announcing graduates from the School of Business. Heather S. Void. Kristen R. LeBlanc. Susan E. Overlees. Alina C. Walls. Kimberly B. Walton. Patricia Ramirez. Jimmy D. Langham. Levinsky J. Brown. Lakiria Shadavia Collins. Rochelle M. Ernest. Victoria M. Edwards. Aaliyah L. Gilbert. Shaley Jade Keeley. Kadofi H. McCord. Kimberly M. Wynn. Stacy D. Arrowwood. Althea S. Bug. Jennifer O. Brown. Shania Charlene Brown. Jamie L. Duenas. Lindsay N. Fields Williams. Jess Silva C.F. Font. David Lee Jeffers. Amanda Elizabeth Powell. Jeannie M. Sharp. Renaya K. S. Taylor. Kayla A. Farmer. Destiny S. Hamilton. Tonisha A. Hunter. Roger A. McCarthy. Renee S. Milligan. Madeline E. Morgan.
for Sheba A. Peschel. Ariana L. Pearson. Tayano Santos Thomas. Charles A. Turner, Jr. Quavancia L. Walker. Malcolm Jamal Wallace. Vanessa M. Suber. Brittany A. Bartlett. Samantha Louise Jones. Jacqueline M. Lyacona. Tamika N. Lawrence. Alicia B. Walker. Jasmine LeBray Jones. Christian H. Boyd. Sherry Lynn Christensen. Tamika Von Therese Hilton. Jacob T. Jackson. Evan T. Kyler. Hannah C. Warfield. Colby James Richardson. Now announcing graduates from the School of Cyber and Design Media. Kendrick O. Roberts. Shanetta Ann Steinbauer. Keila C. Hobbs Washington. DeAndre E. Martin. Haley Joe Rowe. Jeremiah L. Colley. Nia I. Hardy. Lisa D. Ruffin. Dakota Tyler Abrams. Keisha Addison. Zane D. Balbag.
Joseph Brown. James E. Burrow. Monsieur Chambers. Timothy S. Chin. Lacey J. Cochran IV. Gregory Alexander Dixon. Megan E. Flanagan. Dalton M. Foss. Rasa Garnet. Demond F. D. Hill II. Curtis A. Johnson. Marquise Johnson. Joseph G. Kaltenbach. Michael Anthony Lee. Moesha B. McGee. Andrew R. Moy. Jeremy E. Robinson. Cantrell D. Sheely. Tammy S. Smith. Lashonda M. Snipes. Corey E. White. James A. Williams. Angelica S. Bermudez. Stephanie P. Presume. Malcolm D. Brown. Jayanna S. Johnson. Betty J. Kendrick. Andrea M. Lindsay. Faith V. Lyons. Justin Wade McClellan. Jasmine Mesquite. Aaron N. Mungin. Colton J. Tyson. Lee F. Ward. Shamar Rashad Williams.
Khalid Savion Maurice Wright. Jeremy A. Knight. Alessandra C. Vlasic. Tiffany A. Cole. Tamara Johnson. Now announcing graduates from the School of Health Sciences. Martha Omobolanle Akinpelu. Fabiola Arbulu. Jermiqua L.C. Henderson. Maria J. Rivas Saez. Emily N. Heron. Natalie A. Jones. Desiree A. Abraham. Marie L. Bailey. Bridget N. Hightower. Janice K. White. Faith Colgrove. Deanna L. Davis. Myasia A. Hughes. Kendria Jones. Whitney E. Kendrick. Lederica L. Knight. Randy L. Lazenby. Taisha T. Smith. Candesis S. Washington. Krista R. Anderson. Stacy P. Arnett. Kevin M. Howell. Stacy Jones. Chiquana Nicole Martin. Alyssa T. Moore. <laughs> Melissa Moss. Shantanique L. Nixon. L. 
Hermosa. Tanya Yvette Simpkins. Rakoya C. Stringer. Sakira D. Cartledge. Tamisha S. Rowe. Sierra B. Sabo. LaShayla and Strickland. Angel B. Terrell. Natea Williams. Brooklyn J. Boone. Brittany M. Del Sasso. Brianna M. Hartle. Lashante R. Johnson. Matsiriso Mizionke. Jenny M. Newton. Keisha L. Smith. Tabitha R. English. Denicia T. McFadden. Stanley James A. Jr. Mayana R. Grissom. Madison L. Horn. Chardicia Sarah Nicole Husendove. <laughs> Jessica W. Scott. Cedric G. Abden. Devin A. Brown. <laughs> Vanessa L. Dean. <laughs> Susana Garcia Torres. <laughs> Stephanie E. Harmon. Andrea Johnson. Autumn Brooke Patton. J. 
Jennifer L. Rosa. Reese L. Scott. Scott. Pamela P. Smith. Freda M. Trotty. Frida L. Trotty. Macy L. Burney. Kimberly A. Demas. Natalie E. Hankel. Zoe B. Moore. Destiny Valentine Morgan. Billy D. Rickerson. Ashley Washington. Skylar Bonnet. Jasmine Nicole Walker. Calvin Chambers. Demetrius L. Dixon. Ryan M. Jordan. Logan Winona Neese. Jayla A. Quinn. Now announcing graduates from the School of Public and Professional Services. Aaron Brown. Etavis Floyd. Antoine B. Hampton. Whitley E. Merritt. Xavier Amari Ramirez. Cordell Horatio Wallace. Cassidy S. Baker. Tiaran S. Bradley. Brittany L. Collier. Kiera J. Walker. Tabitha A. Washington.
Kanisha VJ Wilson. Brianna N. Bartlett. Emaya Nicole Beard. Phaedra Leander Berry. Jayla A. Best. Haley R. Botwell. Michelle L. Brown. Robin M. Castilla. Caitlin Cumby. Carson J. Ellis. Brittany N. Ewing. Kimon M. Foster. Zoe Lynn Frazier. Alexis R. Gibson. Barbara Gillum. Latron Harrison. Caroline Irina Hodges. Wykenya C. L. Humphrey. Brooke E. Jongma. Elia K. Kaltrider. Moriana Key. Emma N. Lindsay. Renee N. Miller. Jessica Ramsey. Tori Nicole Ferguson. Kenya C. Thomas. Mary Thomas. Tanisha M. N. Thomas. Carrie Kenneth Lloyd Vickers, Jr. Regina M. Walden. Brianna N. West.
Shantavia L. Wilcox. Jayana L. Williams. Micaiah K. Wright. Catherine E. Salyer. Kendra Alcide. Tyrone Brim. Kamaka Davis. <laughs> Levi D. Land. <laughs> Evelyn Ortiz. Christopher Maurice Osby. Jaquasia K. Terman. Christian D. Gibbons. Michelle Hickson. Daryl B. Jackson. Nisi R. Langston. <laughs> Jacqueline Del Carmen Rivera Player. Corey T. Tolbert. <laughs> Crystal Shambrell Fuller. Aquinta Burnett Jackson. April and McCammon. Melanie Morgan. Shakuria L. Davis. Charnesia Latrice Frazier. Saraya G. Freeman. Tayana Imani Jamara Harden. Autumn Joy Hudson. Francis N. Johnson. Tammy D. Mathis. Yeah. 
Marissa A. Perkins. Leilana Ross. Yolanda J. Thomas. Stephanie M. Terman. Delisa Curry. Mallory A. Flowers. Samantha Burns. William Johnson. John Wiley McClendon, Jr. Kathy S. Wright. Layla Nicole Hammett. A Chinasty Martin. New Nella. Judy Paschke. Shelby J. Davis. Madeline E. Gerard. Jesse L. Burton. Stefan Townsend. Austin D. James. Julia A. Ford. Lintara S. Nellums. Enriqueta Quinones. Deacon R. Long. Brandon S. Goolsby. Jeff C. Acosta. Gray R. Cummins. Quayshawn D. Cooper. Malik J. Merriweather. Malcolm Germain Hill. John Tanksley. Christopher Ivory Raphael Wright.
Will all candidates for graduation please stand? Being a voice in higher education, Augusta Technical College distinguished itself as a student-centered, career-oriented technical college committed to the promotion of education, economic, community development of the CSRA. For our graduates, as you move through life and your career, remember that you reflect your family, your hard work, and Augusta Tech. Viewed as professionals, and prepared to handle life's challenges, you will put education to work every day. Today, we celebrate you and congratulate you on your accomplishments. Now, in the time-honored tradition, please move your tassels from the right to the left. Oh, we can do a little bit better than that. You are now a graduate of Augusta Technical College. Before I invite Pastor Angel to come up to give us the benediction, we do have a special guest that wanted to provide words of encouragement to you. We can play the video. Class of 2023, congratulations, you did it. This is your Senator John Ossoff. Just want to congratulate and thank you for all of your hard work and for your accomplishments. To all of the parents, mentors, loved ones, and educators in attendance, thank you for your efforts that made today possible. And to the class of 2023, you're now embarking on the next phase in your journeys. I want you to succeed, I want you to thrive, I want you to flourish in life. And anything that my team and I can do to support you, just reach out at ossoff.senate.gov. But for the rest of today, enjoy and celebrate this achievement and this moment. Good luck, and thanks for your hard work. Thank you, Senator Ossoff. And at this time, I will invite Pastor Angel to come back to give us the benediction. Pastor Angel. Let's pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We thank you for this victory, victory that reflects the hard working, the dedication of many days, weeks, months, and years to the education. Thank you, because today, all these students, they are not more students. They are now professionals that will challenge themselves to become better workers, better influencers, better citizens of this beautiful city. We bless them in the name of Jesus, as the word says, as the Bible says, that we ask you for your blessings in the way in, but also in the way out. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen, amen. This concludes the 2023 Augusta Technical College Commencement Ceremony. Graduates and guests, please remain in your seats until all the individuals on the stage have exited the stage and the recession is complete. Thank you and congratulations. Go Cougars!
I'm a car, see you on TV, sunset done change ever since we was on, I dreamed it all, ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing, now they always say congratulations, worked so hard, forgot how to vacation, they ain't never had the dedication, people hating, say we changing, look, we made it.
first going in on the verse, cause I've never been defeated and I won't stop now. Keep your hands up, get them in the sky for the homies that ain't making it, my folks locked down. 